Okay, in the previous video I showed you how to download and install the Citrix client, the Citrix receiver, uh, which will allow you to access the virtual lab. In this video I'm going to show you how to download the data sets that you're going to be using this semester um, and how to save them in a place that hopefully you'll remember where they are so that you can access them later. Um, so you're going to start by going to our Canvas homepage. Um, I'm not really sure what yours looks like. This is what the instructor's homepage looks like. Um, so I'm going to go to our course, then I'm going to go to the files section. And from here I'm going to go to the lab data folder. If I click on that, uh, you can see I have three data sets here. We have the Ad Health Lab data set, the NIS Lab data set, and the World Values Lab data set. So I'm just going to download each one of these one at a time. Um, now, I don't know where your computer will suggest that you download them to. Um, some default to the Downloads folder, some default to the Documents folder. Um, what I'm going to do is create a special folder on my desktop just so I can access these later fairly easily. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Lab Data. And I'm just going to save the Ad Help data set there. And I'm going to do the same thing for both the NIS lab data set. Save it in my lab data folder. And this one as well. And then I'm just going to double check to make sure they actually got there. See, there's my lab data folder. Um, and there are my data sets. So now I know where they are. I know where they're saved on my computer so that I can access them later using the virtual lab software.